right, let's walk this up a little bit here. Oh, it's dark. Let's see what can we do about that. Oh, gosh. Hey, Tackle Painter back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome out to the shop. Thought I'd have some fun on a little opening here. This is what it's like every time that I have to get set up. It's like, okay, let's bring out the ring light. Let's pull, take off the glasses. Let's get it up close. Turn it on. Oh, I forgot. Good God, that's bright. Uh, <laughs> so just coming out to you guys this Tuesday. We're going to be doing our... What are you doing? Go back inside, please. Do you want to come say hi? Okay, come here, say hi. Come here. Come, come here. Come say hi. Ready? <laughs> you tell everybody hi? Hi. <laughs> how, how old are you now? You don't want to talk about you want to talk about how old you are? How old are you? Two. You're not two. That's how old your sister is. How old are you? <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> four. You're four now. You believe that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've been coming up on these videos for a couple years now. Isn't that exciting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. You say bye to everybody? Bye. All right. So that's my eldest daughter. You guys, uh, from my first video that I put out doing woodworking stuff, that doing that uh, Hawaiian Springs pen kit, you know, she came out and she was on the video and, and uh, got right up next to the lathe, which was really scary for me. Uh, but uh, she's been coming out here and she actually will like come out and knock. That time she didn't knock, but she could hear me talking. She knew that I was on camera. So she knew that it was okay. If they hear the machinery going, they totally knock and they wait for me to respond. But just figured I'd come out this Shop Talk Tuesday, give you guys an update of some of the stuff that I have going on in the shop. It's been a very busy couple of weeks. I've been doing a lot of different testings, and I've got completely caught up on all of my Etsy orders. I only had one that just came in just a couple of days ago that I'm working on currently. But I've got a lot of personal orders from a lot of people that I'm uh, close to, that I'm friends with, and some networking stuff. But it's been a lot of fun. had a lot going on. I actually had some time to do some like research and development and uh, try out a different technique. First one being this Maple Burl Slimline pen. Now this Slimline uh, is just a piece of Maple Burl that I had sitting up in a box up here. These are like projects that are just things that I want to do and not like customer orders or anything. And uh, had this Maple Burl Slimline sitting up there. It was already drilled, already had the tubes glued in, just needed to be trued up. I wanted to try out doing some opal inlay. Um, a couple of days ago I did a uh, inlay with some turquoise and it turned out really good for my first attempt. Um, there were a couple of issues with it that I had to like recut the groove again and re uh, inlay some more turquoise and it turned out pretty well. Um, there was one spot where there wasn't any turquoise and I just covered that section up with the clip um, and I wanted to get out and try my hand with some opal and it turned out really really nice. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It's really, really pretty. You can see all those pieces of opal running through there. If I had to do it again, and I plan to, I'm gonna do some more of these because I actually have a bunch of opal that I got on sale recently. Um, I would go with a wider groove. The groove that I cut was is just with this Robert Sorby um, thin kerf uh, parting tool. And this is just like a 16th of an inch thick and it's really, really thin. It, cuts those grooves in really nicely. You can see how small those are there. And uh, it was it's a perfect size for the turquoise, but some of those pieces of opal are larger um, than 16th of an inch. And granted, I could cut those down, you know, smash them apart and make smaller particles, um, but I kind of like the larger size. So I think going like one half the size of that kerf would be a better groove width. Um, than just doing a single kerf width and so but really really happy with that those So these are the ones that I use these are easy inlay and these are the Fiji These are kind of like a blue green and they're really really pretty and I'm really happy with how they turned out 
and uh, I'm going to do some more of them. I've got different colors. I've got uh, Mariana's and Marina, which are, Marina's like a light blue and Mariana's like a darker blue, kind of flashes into a green. And then um, I've got Confetti, which is kind of like a purple that flashes like all colors. Just really, really sweet. And it didn't really take a whole lot of these, actually. Like, I was actually just putting one in at a time and getting them to fit in those grooves. And for as small of a container as that is, you know, it's only a two gram uh, container, it really didn't use too many of them. I mean, it was like seven or eight um, of the granules per groove. And it comes with quite, a, like, probably over 100 to 200 of them inside that little jar. I thought this jar was, like, it's Tuesday during business hour. you think I'd know better than to do it now because all the planes are coming in. I'm having to pause every couple of seconds. For as small as this jar is, you would think that it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't make too many, but, you know, it actually provided quite a few for this single pen, and there's still plenty left. To do more in the future so I'm really happy to do those I'm gonna be doing up one of these for my wife uh, using the uh, Marianas which are a dark blue and I'm really excited to do that and that's why I wanted to get out and do this tester pen so the other day I actually had a customer that ordered a uh, purple heart slimline he wanted a stylus on it and then we did uh, turquoise stone crushed stone inlay into a couple of grooves on those same premise two lines um, at the front and at the back of the pen. It turned out really good. I'll throw a photo up here, a couple of them, and uh, really happy with how it turned out, and the customer loved it. We were going to do it in gunmetal, um, but as it turned out, the gunmetal uh, mesh nibs were on back order. I couldn't get those in stock, and so I still had some chrome and gold, and we decided to do it in chrome. I laid them all out, and here's a photo of it laid out. And I told my customer, I really think that the chrome looks better because it kind of looks like Native American turquoise jewelry. And uh, it the way that the dark purple takes on like this antiquing effect and then the turquoise in there and the chrome is kind of flashing like the pewter, like they would make the jewelry out of it. And it's really pretty. And I was really happy with how it turned out. Minus just that one section that didn't have any turquoise in it by mistake. And I just covered that up with the clip. It was an easy fix. Really happy in the mail yesterday. I got this gigantic block of Amboynia Burl. It's like six inches long and then three inches wide and thick. And it is just a beast of an Amboynia Burl block. Got it for really cheap on eBay from a great guy that I've gotten a lot of my Amboynia through. And this thing is covered in bird's eyes and all sorts of really beautiful stuff. Really, really happy with this purchase. Can't wait to get this cut up into some plan blanks. And because it's like six and a half inches long, I'll be able to take a section off of the front end, get it down to probably four and three quarters or so, and then be able to chop the rest of it up into pen blanks. Then I'll figure out what to do with that front section. But I don't just want to chop it all up into pen blanks because then all of those sections will be wasted. I can probably figure out something to do with that first like two inches off the front. So it'll be exciting, but really, Really a beautiful block of Amboynia Burl. Can't wait to get cutting into that. What's up, sweet girl? Just want to come out and say hi again? Yeah? You missing daddy today? Yeah? Oh, she came out to visit some more. Ah. <laughs> so, you want to you wanna show him? You want to show him this pen? In case you guys didn't know, she actually is my quality control. Whenever I have a new pen, um, I actually take it inside. And if her hands are clean, then she'll actually take a look at it. And she'll look at me and go, Daddy, that's pretty. And if it doesn't look pretty, she'll tell me too. But yeah, she's really a nice pen this time around. Um, let me see. Redoing one that I tried in the past. This one is a uh, Nebula Blank. Really happy with how it turned out. This is a 25% uh, black, and then the rest of it is color, and it turned out really good. I can't get it on camera there. There we go. Really, really pretty colors on there. Super happy with how it turned out. And then Sierra Click on there. The last one that I did, the brass tube either got cut too short or it was the wrong brass tube in the bag, not sure. And the ink, even with it closed, stuck out the end. So really, really super weird. But... Happy with how that turned out. Can you say bye?
Thanks for helping. So today, while I've got some time before a scout meeting I'm going to go to later, I've got this blank right here. This is one of my patriotically bound uh, rope blanks. This one is a four millimeter uh, rope that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be turning this up later for an Arite fountain pen. I'm really looking forward to it. And then I'm going to get some black ink and add some of my color shifting powders to it. And I think that it'll be fun having some of those color shifting powders in the black ink. I'll give it kind of a blue to purple effect. And I think it'll be kind of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to just kind of trying it out, but wanted to get one of these four millimeter uh, rope blanks done up so that way you guys can see how much more rope is actually going to be crisscrossing through the blank, even with this single tube. Uh, this is a 2764 tube on this Arite fountain pen. But even with this just single tube blank, you should have just a ton more of the rope cutting in and through. So it'll be a lot nicer with the four millimeter as opposed to the quarter inch where the quarter inch should just have kind of like a couple of big bands coming through maybe a couple of sections where it looked like it was going to get close but then it just kind of skimmed it um, but these four millimeters have a ton more rope in them and then while i'm out here my buddy saw these uh, eagle and flag blanks that i posted on my instagram and he immediately wanted both of these and so these are already claimed for but i'm going to be selling these blanks and also be selling them as individual pens if you guys want them uh, but these are going to be a lot of fun so i'm going to be doing a video on how to do these these are uh, two bin castings and then i'm going to be doing a turning video on how to turn them and polish them um, because these are liquid diamond epoxy blanks they're not my usual alumalite blanks but these are a ton of fun you can see that eagle in there and this is kind of like a, a country uh, farm theme. It's got um, your wood fencing going off into the distance and a nice, beautiful sky. And then this one has an eagle uh, with a flag in its talons, and he's flying off to a fight. Really, really cool blanks. So I'm going to get to turn those before I run out of time. Thank you so much for staying tuned and sticking around with me through this channel. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I've been having a great time. I plan on doing a lot more in the future. Be sure to stay tuned. I'm going to be putting out the video on doing that purple heart with turquoise stone inlay pen coming up here probably in just a couple of days. I've got it finished. Just got to add some sound effects and stuff to it. And then uh, I'll be able to produce it and get it out onto YouTube. So be sure to take a look around for that. So thanks so much again for sticking around with me. I know it's been a few weeks since I've done an update video. It's just been super busy. So this is Tactical Painter out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out.